This is a demonstration of a hydroxyl alkalinity drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to collect an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before collecting your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample, hold the vial close to eye level. Accuracy is very important during this step. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level to verify. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. Once you've collected an accurate sample, the next step is to add 20 drops of barium chloride 20%. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, swirl the vial to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. You may also choose to remove the dropper tip and use the syringe to add 1 ml of barium chloride to the sample. The next step is to add 2 drops of phenolphthalein indicator. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. The sample will turn pink if alkalinity is present. The next step is to perform the titration using hydrochloric acid titrant. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. Add the titrant one drop at a time Swirl in the vial after each drop to properly mix the sample. You must count the number of drops during this step. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. Continue counting the number of drops and swirl in the vial after each drop. The titration is complete when the sample color changes from pink to colorless.